Hey everybody, this is Tori, and I recently sent out a note to those of you who are using the LEGO Mindstorm EV3 robotics platform that LEGO has released a both a software and a firmware update for the EV3 platform. So I was going to try to do a quick video to show you all how to update both of those. Uh, one of the first things you're going to have to do is open up your LEGO Mindstorm education programming software, so I'm going to do right here and when that opens up you are going to need to open a new program and there's a couple of ways you can do that you can go over here to your file menu and you can click on new project and open a program from here bunch of steps to do that or from your start menu or from your starting screen you can actually go up to the upper left hand corner and click on add project and it will come up to your programming screen right here which is the quicker way to do it. Next thing you'll need to do is you'll need to have your LEGO EV3 brick and the USB cable to plug it into your computer and I've got a brick right here that I'm going to plug in and as I plug it in down here in the lower left hand part of the screen you'll see the brick information come up uh, say the brick title and the firmware version is version 1.03e but you'll also see in the center of the screen it's got a window that comes up that says it has a firmware version update so click on OK you will go up to your tools menu and click on firmware update now if uh, if you look up here it tells you your current ver current version of the firmware and you'll notice on here on uh, this computer uh, I have already downloaded the firmware but I'm going to go through the process of doing that with you too so we're going to click on check for online updates uh, your browser should automatically open up depending on what browser you're using um, and you'll go to it'll open up to the Lego education site straight to the version of firmware that you need to download uh, I'm going to click on download that particular firmware. It's going to download it to, on this computer, it goes to my downloads folder. But you'll see that it's downloaded, so I'm just going to close the browser window. And again, it will come up right here, but if it does not, you will go to browse. And you can browse to the folder you downloaded it to and in this particular one I downloaded it to my downloads folder uh, it's the EV3 firmware right here you know it's the second one here is uh, the one I just downloaded so it saved it as a different version but I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna open it it's gonna tell me where I opened it from and it's gonna bring it up right here um, the next thing you're gonna do make sure your brick is still connected and you're going to go to download in the lower half of the window that downloads the firmware to the brick so as we click on download it's going to prepare the brick for getting the information in it and if it comes up with this status bar it says preparing the EV3 brick that's a good thing uh, one of the things I have noticed if you have multiple bricks to download the firmware to you're going to need to shut down your software package each time you want to update the firmware to a brick so once you've done one close your software reopen it to do the next one otherwise you're going to get some errors and it's not going to they're not going to play well together if you uh, if you don't restart the software each time at this point I'm going to pause for a few seconds to let this get through and as soon as this process gets done we'll start back up again alright as you can see with the progress meters down here the brick has been prepared uh, it's over to 100 percent and now it is downloading the firmware onto the brick the process itself takes about five minutes in in total so I did pause in the middle and restart the video recording just to save a little dead space there but as it's downloading it's going up to 97 percent uh, should reach a hundred here in just a few seconds and you'll see a should see a uh, 
successful update window come up on your screen and the firmware update was successful so we're going to click OK and then we're going to close this window. Now at this time the the brick itself is restarting. Um, those of you that have worked with the EV3 brick know that it takes a little while for it to boot up. It takes about uh, 10 to 15 seconds for it to reboot and at that time what we'll do is we'll go down here to our status window um, after our brick reboots go down here to our status window and we'll see if everything looks like it's right okay we have the signal that the brick is updated uh, we're gonna go down here to the different bricks connected we we'll see we are connected to our we are picking up a firmware update here but the second one here is our actual EV3 brick and we're just gonna click on it the brick should be updated. Firmware version 6. or 1.60 1.06 E, excuse me. And then everything looks to be good. Uh, I will tell you that when it updates the firmware, it removes all the current programs that are on the brick itself. So keep that in mind if you want to save anything on it, make sure to save it ahead of time or have it saved in the files in your computer. The second process in this is the software update for the programming software itself. And with that, we're going to go over here to where it says Lego Mindstorm EV3, and we're gonna check for software updates. Now, this software that I have on this computer, I've already updated, so it will not show it to me, but if I check for software updates, it says none are available. Uh, it should automatically check for software updates as well but what you will do if you do have a software update again Lego Mindstorm EV3 check for software updates and if there is one available it will give you a link to click directly to the Lego education site just like we did with the uh, firmware update from there you'll just download the patch which let me see if I still have that in my downloads folder uh, and I do not, but I believe the number of the patch is 1.1.1. So it will let you know that uh, you do have a software update. My recommendation is to update the firmware in the bricks before you update the software. I have heard of a few problems that it will, if you're trying to do it in the opposite direction, it it's not working real well. I haven't had that problem yet, but I've heard a few people talk about it. Um, and this this is the process for uh, the Mac version. Uh, the Windows version is not that much different. Everything should be in the same place. It just may look a little different. That's the, the process for updating your firmware and updating your software. Uh, appreciate your time. And if you have any questions, as always, don't hesitate to give me a call or an email. Thank you all very much.